Alright guys, so like What in the cheese is this? A Scion emblem, but it's a Honda Civic That's like, oh, uh, that's what? <laughs> What do you guys what do you guys call that? I wonder it lights up too. That's a calendar. We got December. We got January, the best month ever. Pretty good picture. We got that one. Oh. Let me show you guys all of them real quick. What is this Jim Connor? Really nice. You know, Subaru, if you ever want to sponsor me, that makes some great tacos. Never been on a helicopter either, so you know, you'll make a little boy's dream come true. That's cool. Dude, look at this color. It's like a sea fizz blue, I think. And then it has the little. Look, we just came in the mail today. I'm still quarantined. As you guys know, I did get COVID from my work. It came my manager going to Miami and came back infected. Um, so it really does suck for me and I'm super upset about it. Um, but I just got to think positive. I'm doing pretty good. My health is good. I mean, do feel, do you feel kind of bad the last two days and today i feel good but i do still have like shortness of breath very exhausted and carrying the workout either um but still doing good um so we just got this in the mail from amazon and let me show you guys probably install this tomorrow can we just take a moment for appreciation of just the quality of these boxes. Oh, look, you can even get a little design right there. That's gonna be way cheaper quality. Nice. Oh, wow, it comes with like, can't really touch. I know you guys can't really feel this material, but it's pretty nice. Um, spongy material. Oh, and there it is. Car chip. Car cheat. Don't know how to pronounce that. It feels really good, it feels really smooth. Ooh, it has some weight to it, holy cow. That it wasn't gonna be that heavy. Uh, let's see, more of the little sponge material. Then we got the box with all the wiring. Let's see. So this is gonna be the backup camera with all the wiring. Then we got the cigarette lighter, um, power source. Then we have, I believe, yeah, GPS one. Gotta figure out where to put that one. And just some utensils and tools and stuff. So, let me just show you guys how this looks. And right there is the front camera. Almost looks like carbon fiber, right? Kind of has this like carbon fiber design to it. Looks pretty cool. Kind of grippy too. And this is what holds um, the screen in place to your original uh, rear view mirror. And that's gonna be the screen. Uh, looks really nice. Right here's our right here are all the ports, SD card, and all the other wiring stuff. So I'm planning on putting the back up one right there so we're gonna have to start taking off these little plastic pins okay so this one you're gonna pop it out you're just gonna use a you're just gonna use a panel removal tool go in like that and then twist it and then it pops right out remember guys always disconnect your battery if you are gonna be using if you are gonna be working with electrical stuff and this video is only for demonstration purposes only.
All right, guys, so I haven't really recorded in a couple of minutes, but pretty much what I did is pop this panel off. There's two bolts right here. Um, I'm gonna show you the one right here and then one behind the seatbelt on the other side. So we can wire it up through here and right there. So I'm connected in the middle. And then we're gonna be doing this, tucking it through the headliner, all the way up here, all through down here and into this A pillar. And then we're gonna wire it. Um, then we're gonna connect it from the top to the mirror. And then the power source is gonna go up there same way. But instead of going back here, we're gonna just wire it through the side all the way down there. So let me just put everything back together, which is just popping everything back in. Got it all connected. Now I just gotta wire this part. But since I have so much extra wiring, I'm gonna have to put the screen first. So all you do is grab the little, I don't know, I don't know what to call this, rubber bands. And you just attach them right here. There's like a little hook. So depending how big your uh, rear view mirror is, you could use the different versions of it. Uh, I think it comes with like these smaller ones and oh, it actually comes with smaller ones. So these are larger ones and these are smaller ones. I'm gonna use the larger ones just cause I see that it has like two levels and I'm probably just gonna use a shorter level to try it out. That's how it's gonna look. Looks pretty OEM to be honest. So the next thing we're gonna be doing, I already took the wiring for the backup one. Uh, now we're gonna be putting the power source. So we're gonna do it from the bottom right here. And for the BRZ, we're lucky enough to have a 12 volt right behind the glove box, which I love super handy and look at that can't even see the wiring oh there we go let's just peel this okay i'm trying to figure out how to peel it oh wait my bad it's right here oh so satisfying Okay, so I don't have a SD card in here yet, so I gotta go get one. Um, but let's see. But that's really crispy. I could tell you for the front. Let me just see the back. I think you slide it. You swipe it. You know, micro SD card. Okay, right here, are all the settings. Uh. Drive mode, back, frequency, GPS, factory reset. So this is like night mode, it's pretty cool. Let me... Okay, this is like literally with lights off. Dude, that is really crispy. Holy cow, that's actually really crispy. Look, that's how it looks like right now. Crispy. I just put the micro SD card in. So this is a nighttime shot of the dash cam. I'm gonna lower the brightness on my phone so it could capture it a little bit better. Just cause when the camera on the phone catches this, it's like, it gives it a really big um, glare. But this is how it looks like from like a point of view with the human eye. I've had the dash cam for a little bit over two weeks now. And I could tell you guys, I love it. The reason I haven't posted the video yet is because I wanted to, you know, have the dash comment and actually see if it was worth me recommending and making a midnight review video for you guys. And I can tell you hands down, this is probably one of the best dash cams in the market. The only downfall I do have, which isn't a really a big downfall, is just for some reason it says 850 when it's um, 550. For some reason I fix it like, I fixed it like 10 times and when I turn off the vehicle and then the next day I get in the vehicle, it goes forward three hours. I don't know if I had the time wrong, but I feel like I, I 
put it correct you know pacific time i live in the bay area um and it always just goes forward three hours but honestly that's not the end of the world because it's like i could just you know subtract three hours or i could look at this clock that clock and then i have my phone obviously so that's not the end of the world it does a great job and not only is it very responsive unfortunately for me how i mounted it was in the rear right there you're not gonna be able to see fortunately i put it inside the vehicle and i have five percent in the back so it's kind of hard to see at night um i might relocate it to the outside which that's what i highly recommend but i wanted like i wanted the camera to capture it a little bit higher just in case i couldn't see a vehicle but i'll show you guys some driving footage and it still captures it very well the only downfall is when it is raining the water stays back there unless you have a car that has a, a rear wiper my car doesn't so i am kind of screwed in that and then um, on foggy days you know it's, it's kind of hard to tell as well but honestly if you just clear if you, you just, if you just clean your window then you know this is going to work perfectly but let me show you guys uh, me driving at night and when there's cars behind me so this set looks like at night um obviously i have my windows down let me put them up really fast and that's how it looks like honestly um it's not the best but obviously it's nighttime and i could tell you the front it's kind of hard like i said when it when it comes to difficult when i'm recording with the camera or phone or whatever but i can tell you in person it's a lot more crispier and it looks a lot better this is a nighttime one on the rear you can still see there's cars behind you um and i can tell you it's not the best footage because of the tint but i can tell you that it still captures the license plate very well um obviously it's hard to tell when i'm recording but i could tell you that it captures it very well and um if I ever played this back and like let's say this car rear ended me, I would have the footage there and I would be able to see the the license plate. You're also able to adjust the brightness if you want to like lower. You're also you're also able to adjust the brightness of the the thing if you want to like higher, lower, and then you're able to adjust the camera as well if you wanted to do that. Then right here you go to settings. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but yeah, you're able to adjust everything. Um, and yeah, honestly, I recommend this camera a lot. And here, uh, yeah, one more thing, one more thing. So that's how it is at night. And then if you don't want it on, there's a little button you press here. And there we go. You know, boom, that's a nighttime one. You can't even see anything. So if anything, having this on is better. Look at that. But once again, guys, I just want to say that if this was mounted on the outside, the view would just be a hundred times better. It's just, I have it on the inside. It's doable for me. It's not the end of the world, especially in the daytime. It gets the job done. Um, and it's just for my car, 2022 BRZ. It's kind of hard to mount it on the outside just because it would just look a little bit ugly and I really can't find a spot where I could put it. Usually you can mount it where a license plate light is, but for my car, um, there's not really any space. It kind of sealed it with the actual lamp. So that's how my car is gonna pretty much have it, unless if I really want to change it later on. But we'll see.